In this video, we'll show you how to make the most of your ChargeMate charger using the JetCharge Connect app. We'll cover the basics. From starting and stopping charging sessions, to managing cable locks, checking your charging history, and understanding your charging costs. Let's start with the home screen. Here, you'll see your charger status. It quickly shows if the charger is available, charging online or offline. If it's charging, you'll also see a timer displaying the session duration. You can also give your charger a name by clicking the three dots. Now, if you tap on your charger, you'll access more details. If your charging session is in progress, you'll find information on the power delivered and the time the charger has been in use at the top. At the bottom, you can dive into your charging stats, set schedules and tweak app settings. Ready to start charging? Simply plug your charging cable into the charger and then into your vehicle. Charging will begin automatically when you connect the cable. Now, if you need to pause or stop your charging session, click the pause button at the top of the charger page. This will give you options to pause or stop your session. Use pause for a temporary halt. When you're ready to continue, press resume charging. If you stop the session, you'll need to unplug and replug your cable to start charging again. You want to keep your cable plugged into your charge mate all the time at home. You'll need to enable the cable lock feature. Here's how. Firstly, stop any active charge session and unplug your cable from the charger. Then go to settings and tick the cable lock checkbox. If it's greyed out, make sure the charger is online and the cable is fully disconnected. Wait for a flashing padlock icon to appear on the ChargeMate display screen. Once you see this, you can then reconnect your cable to the charger. The padlock icon will stop flashing, indicating your cable is locked. To unlock the cable, firstly stop any active charge session. Go to settings and untick the cable lock checkbox. If it's greyed out, make sure any charging session is completely stopped and not paused. Wait for the padlock icon to disappear on the charger display screen. Once that has happened, you can unplug the cable from the charger. To access your charging history, click on the graph icon at the bottom of the screen. You can select the current or previous charging sessions and view energy usage and charging rates. Use the date range buttons to filter sessions by specific months. And if you want to get access to the raw data, you can export it as a CSV file by clicking the export CSV button. If you want to know how much each charging session costs, then we need to capture a little more information from you. Go to settings and scroll down to energy cost. Select set price. Here you enter your retail electricity plan details, which you can find on a recent electricity bill. You need to include your offer type, for example, fixed or time of use, and energy price. If you have a time of use or flexible tariff, you will need to enter the energy prices for peak and off-peak times, along with the applicable days and times. Once you're done, click Save, and we'll use this information to calculate your home charging costs. And that's it. In this video, we covered starting and stopping charging sessions, managing cable locks, checking your charging history, and setting your energy costs to understand how much charging costs you. Now sit back and enjoy charging at home.